America Source Fed. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Elliot Morgan. So we all know that there's no such thing as a perfect crime, right? We've all watched enough SVU, CSI, and other crime acronyms to know that DNA, paper trails, and common logic will attach you to even the best of crimes. And now it might be even harder because scientists have found that just five genes could determine what kind of face you have. Wait, okay, like, determine what a criminal's face looks like through genes? Oh man, better watch out criminals with faces. Well, not exactly, but the research could get us there sooner than later. See, scientists used MRI scans and portrait photographs to map facial features. Then those were matched against DNA in around 10,000 people, and five regions of the genetic code associated with different facial shapes were identified, which would suggest five specific known genes. Oh, really, you are sciencing this up way too much, okay? I just want to know whether or not we're going to be able to make out a criminal's face through DNA, because if that's true, then I'm going to need to write my crime pilot Double Danger, where a man has a twin that commits crimes, but he himself is a detective. Naturally, I play twins, Harrison and Ronan. You can tell them apart because Harrison wears a leather jacket, a really cool looking leather jacket. Write that, because oh. the world needs to see you in a leather jacket. Yeah. But no, the technology and science isn't that advanced yet. Again, we're in the beginning stages of mapping out these five genes that determine what someone's face looks like. I mean, the PAX3 gene has been linked to an unusually broad nose, and the PRDM16 gene plays a role in cleft palates and other facial features. The lead scientist, Professor Manfred Kayser, said, These are exciting first results that mark the beginning of genetic understanding of human facial morphology. This is awesome. I mean, you could potentially find DNA and draw a mugshot. Oh man, if forensics gets a hold of this knowledge, it is not going to bode well for Ronan. You better watch that. I mean, accurate predictions of certain eye and hair colors from DNA already happened. So who knows? Pretty soon, DNA left behind could put you in double danger. Lee! Oh my goodness, that is so clever. Can I be head of forensics, Monica Kelson? I mean, she's tough on the outside, but she's just looking for love. There's no time for lovely. This is a world of danger. <sighs> so guys, what would be your perfect crime? Let us know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, like, subscribe, click this annotation. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. Ha <laughs> ha. I gotta Double go danger. finish it. It's gonna be good. The second draft is even better than the first.